This is a meerkat, an iconic mammal species that's easily recognised by many. It belongs to an order of animals called the carnivora or the carnivores and within that order they sit in a family known as herpestidae. This is also called the mongoose family and meerkats being mongooses means a few things. They have elongated bodies, short legs, pointed noses, small ears, furry tails and claws that can't be retracted. But unlike most mongooses that have five toes on each foot, the meerkat has four. They have incredibly fast reflexes, remarkable agility, and it has been theorised that they possess some kind of resistance to neurotoxins, making them completely capable in taking on deadly snakes like the Cape Cobra and various scorpion species. You'll find meerkats in the southern parts of mainland Africa, across countries like Namibia, Botswana and Angola and they tend to inhabit arid areas and these areas are often stony and chalky and full of woody vegetation as well as savannas and open plains. One well known area in which meerkats live is the Kalahari Desert and the Kalahari Desert is absolutely massive so it's around 900,000 square kilometres and that extends across much of Botswana as well as parts of Namibia and living in desert conditions can be quite harsh but of course evolution has shaped meerkats in a way that they are purpose built for this type of environment and this is done through the possession of certain adaptations and behaviours. One of the first things you notice about meerkats is its fur colour and its pattern so it's composed of a mixture of light and dark brown hairs. Now the lighter hairs help them to blend in against sandy backgrounds and the darker hairs help them to camouflage in amongst patches of bare soil. This camouflage is absolutely essential for reducing their visibility to the many predators that they have. So they have predators such as snakes, jackals and eagles and one of their most ferocious predators is the Marshall Eagle. The Marshall Eagle is the largest eagle in Africa and it weighs in at about six and a half kilograms with a six foot wingspan. Meerkats have black tips on the ends of their tails due to the production of a pigment called melanin. One very useful function of melanin is that it absorbs ultraviolet light efficiently um, and this is from the sun's rays and the reason for this is that this actually protects the meerkat's tip of the tail from sunburn. This pigment is also present around the meerkat's eyes in the form of dark circles and the function is very similar so the sun's light is effectively absorbed by that dark patch and only this time rather than protection from sunburn the purpose of these dark rings is to reduce the amount of glare that the meerkat deals with from the sun's rays. Now meerkats rely very heavily upon their sight to detect both prey and predator so this is a really useful adaptation in making sure that their vision isn't compromised by the sun. Looking at their stomach area they tend to have only a light covering of hers and this exposes a lot of their black skin underneath and it means that the meerkats can use this area to absorb the sun's heat very quickly and they'll do that by either standing on their two rear legs and pointing their bellies towards the sun or just by simply lying on their backs for a relaxing session of sunbathing and this adaptation along with the behaviour is highly useful in the mornings after a long and cold night in the desert. The average weight of a wild meerkat is around 600 to 900 grams and this can be a little heavier in captivity. Captive meerkats don't really have the same ecological pressures as they would do in the wild so in captivity they have consistent resources with no shortages, no natural predators, less competition and less stress so they can afford to pack on a few grams. Lengthwise they measure between 25 to 35 centimetres and that's from head to the end of the body uh, excluding the tail which adds an extra 15 to 25 centimetres. Their lifespans can range between 5 to 15 years in the wild but some meerkats have actually been recorded living up to 20 years in captivity and they have longer lives in captivity for similar reasons as they tend to be slightly heavier, reduced ecological pressures essentially. Meerkats can be sexually reproductive um, all year round but most breeding takes place between August and March as this kind of corresponds with the rainy season when food is most abundant. The more food that's available the better chance that their offspring will survive. So they are pretty much working with the laws and the timing of nature as most animals do. One of the most well known features about meerkats and one of their most distinguishing traits is the fact that these guys take on sentinel duty and sentinel duty is just a fancy way of saying lookout so one member of the group will 
take a vantage point somewhere up nice and high usually and they will survey the surrounding area and when they're surveying the surrounding area they're looking out for things that could be a potential threat to the group so things like predators um, if one of those little sentinels sees something that he or she doesn't like they will start to alarm call and that alarm call is quite unique it almost sounds like a series of quiet small barks this alarm call lets the others know that there is danger nearby and sometimes that means that the meerkats scamper down into their tunnels for safety meerkats are an incredible animal and i hope you've enjoyed this video guys there will be more videos like this in the future. I'm hoping to get a little bit more footage um, of some different animals throughout a number of zoos in the UK. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.